Hey, Alan Noble here, and thank you for joining me on this video. Um, today, I want to talk about the plan. So I've been doing a series of videos about how to evaluate a network marketing business opportunity. I talked about the five P's, the product, the people, the plan, the positioning, and the partners. And I've uh, made other videos then digging into each one of these checkboxes, uh, specifically about how ASEA does in each one of these categories. We're just talking also generally about the idea. So today I want to talk about the plan, the compensation plan. And uh, I'll say this, the comp plan is not a reason to join a network marketing business. Uh, I have talked to people in network marketing, sometimes experienced people in network marketing, that their pitch, as it were, here's the reason why you want to take a look at that, is look at this compensation plan. And I just do not think that is a valid reason to join a network marketing company. It should be product and people. It should be the, the, the product that you're bringing to the marketplace. What are you bringing? Does it have value? Are you excited about it? Is it different? Is that difference sustainable? Does it have an advantage in people's lives? We covered all of that. And then the company. Is it a legacy focused company? Is it well managed? Does it have principles as a bedrock? Um, those are, that's what's important. To me, the comp plan um, should enhance all of that. Uh, the comp plan should reward good business building behavior, but it's not a reason to join a company. Um, but let me, t let me talk about comp. I think what's really important about a compensation plan is it should provide a journey. There should be something for everybody. It should be balanced. And what I mean by that is there should be something for the part-timers. A way to earn, you know, get your product paid for, earn that $500 a month, $1,000 a month, something like that. Then there should be something in the middle for the full-timers. Uh, people that want to make four, five, six thousand dollars a month. And then you've got to have something for the big thinkers, the big time. Uh, that's where you get into the six, multiple six and seven figure incomes. And you have to be able to address these three income levels in the business. You know, I talked to a guy once and he said, I want to find a business where I can make a thousand dollars a month with just, you know, five to 10 people in my organization. And I'm like, well, good luck with that. Because if the company put that much money, if they put that much money at the front end of their compensation plan, you probably would never be able to earn more than a thousand dollars a month. I mean, if you put all of your pennies in the comp plan, just focused on the early part, yeah, you could make a thousand dollars a month with maybe a small group, but you'll never make more than a thousand dollars a month. And you'll never attract strong business builders and leaders. And remember, everything rises and falls on leadership. You've got to have a comp plan that attracts leaders. But let's go to the back end of the plan. You know, I've seen plans where they put all that money at the back end of the plan. And I've seen a company I can think of, I'm not going to mention their name, but they had two master distributors that were making, I think, seven or eight million dollars a year. They were making really big incomes and everyone else was starving to death. Okay, they'd moved all their money just to reward a few. Guess what? That company is not in business. They're, they're gone. Okay, so you've got to have something for everybody. And I want you to think of a compensation plan as a journey. Okay, a journey from the part time. And if you want then a journey into full time, and if you want a journey into the big time, and it should be this smooth journey, it should be a balance. So rather than, you know, a compensation plan is about balance. It's about balancing the front end, the middle and the back end of the comp plan. And that's actually quite tricky. There's an art to that. Uh, it's, it's, it's not as easy as you would think it would be. And the truth is, that's why sometimes comp plans are quite complex. It's because they try and create these balancing mechanisms um, that make that journey as smooth as possible and as fair as possible. That's why you can't just you know, say, well, I'm going to pay this percentage. You've got to learn to cut the pie uh, in different ways. It, again, it gets, it gets complicated. Um, the other thing to think about a comp plan is, to kind of continue that thought, is you can't just take one piece of a compensation plan and compare it to another piece of a compensation plan. And sometimes, you know, amateurs do this in network marketing. They'll go, well, look, this piece of the compensation plan pays X and your piece of the compensation plan pays Y. Well, X is better than Y. Well, you can't just compare that. You can't just compare like one piece of a jigsaw puzzle to another piece of a different jigsaw puzzle and say, well, look, this piece is prettier than this piece. 
you've got to look at how that piece fits into the entire jigsaw puzzle. You know, you, you turn one cog and it turns another cog, turns another cog, turns another cog. We sometimes squeeze, say you squeeze one end of the balloon, it'll get bigger here. But if you squeeze this end of the balloon, it'll get bigger here. And so you can't just compare one little piece of the comp plan. You've got to look at the comp plan uh, as its whole and how all of the pieces interact. Again, it's much more complex than most people really understand. Um, another thing about a comp plan is it should reward good business building behavior. Um, you want to uh, say, what, what, does, what does each piece of the compensation plan actually reward? And so on ASEA, we have pieces of the compensation plan that re reward acquiring customers. That's a really important business building behavior. We've got another piece of the compensation plan that rewards you for getting new associates started in your business. Then we have another piece that uh, rewards you for starting to build the first a uh, little piece of network, the first brick of your business, the first little piece of duplication. We call it the director bonus. And then we start rewarding you for expanding that team through team commissions. And then we have a piece of our comp plan called the executive momentum pool that rewards you for sustaining your business, not just hitting a rank once or twice, but actually building a sustainable business to maintain that rank and being part of that pool. And then we've got a piece that rewards you for creating success in other people's businesses. That's our check match where you get paid on the success of others. So now your philosophy goes beyond just yourself and creating volume, but actually creating success in your business where other people are making good incomes. And then there's the diamond pool in our, in our compensation plan where you're now getting rewarded for stepping up into the leadership ranks of being a diamond. And as I said earlier, everything rises and falls on leadership. So You've got to really make sure you're rewarding good business building behavior and you don't want to be rewarding bad business building behavior, okay? Another thing uh, that's important is, and again, this is an example of, I talked about it in the company when I talk about a company that's legacy focused. You know, take a car program, for example. You know, you can take, take a Mary Kay, a well-established cosmetic company, their headquarters are just down the road from me, uh, very, very successful company. And they're a legacy company. They have allowed Mary Kay reps to make significant incomes for a very, very long period of time. Uh, you could say absolutely a success story in the industry. And they put their pink Cadillac car program on the back end of their compensation plan, which is where the car program belongs. Because to be earning that pink Cadillac, you want to have a strong, sustainable business. Now, let me tell you some of the smoke and mirrors that exist in comp plans and network marketing. And you got to be careful you don't fall for it, okay? And we've seen this over and over again recently where network marketing has kind of become this popularity contest. How fast can we grow? Let's throw some shiny trinkets out there, grab people's attention. Car programs being placed way too early in the compensation plan where people are still just getting their business started. Okay, there's no real stability to it yet. And we've seen, like I remember a company, again, I won't mention any names, that had a BMW program. And they put it way too upfront on the, in the compensation plan. But guess what? It was exciting. It was hypey, it was something to talk about. Everybody was earning their BMWs, but guess what? They couldn't sustain it. It was too early, their business was too immature. And they couldn't then keep hitting that, whatever they had to hit to earn the BMW. And so they couldn't make the payments. And from what I understood is BMW actually took their contract away from that company because there were so many BMWs being handed back to the shop. People couldn't, couldn't afford to keep them, okay? It wasn't sustainable in the compensation plan. So that's a, that's a really simple example of putting, you know, attractive trinkets way too early in the comp plan uh, because it looks good, but it's not sustainable, okay? And again, you know, the truth is, and I don't want to sound um, like all knowing here, because look, I'm always learning about compensation plans, but I will tell you, most people just do not think of these things. They see a car program, you know, and they get all excited and I get my BMW and they don't understand that they can't sustain it. And uh, it, it ends up actually really hurting the company. Car programs belong much later on in the compensation plan. So that's just an example. These are things that you want to think about.
The ASEA compensation plan is generous. We pay out 50% of volume back to the field. Um, it's fair, it's balanced, there's something for everybody. We've got a really nice journey uh, from part-time to full-time to big time. So whatever you want to achieve, you can do it here. So there's some thoughts on comp plan. Again, uh, I don't use comp plan. I would never choose a company based on a comp plan. I'd advise you don't choose a company based on a comp plan. Uh, choose it based on the product and based on the people. And then hopefully the comp plan will be rewarding and reward good business building, building behavior and give you that nice journey uh, in your journey with the company. So thanks for listening. There's the thoughts on the plan. Uh, this is Alan Noble. I want to wish you all the success that you believe you deserve. And bye for now.